All right, so if you're looking at this video, then you obviously fucked up one of your fairings or broke a plastic piece on one of your bikes and you want to fix it. Um, just like me, I happened to hit a bumper in the middle of the road at 3 o'clock in the morning. It suddenly popped out on me and I took it out. So we cracked the uh, right side fairing or lower cow and uh, you can see missing this, this bottom section. Got a crack right here, a chip taken out and another one right here. I also lost the lower V or uh, cowl right down here that uh, gives you that wind guide. I also broke the um, the rear tail right at the hinge area as the tail whipped around, as the bumper whipped around, hit here and it broke the uh, bracketry that keeps it in place right here, as you can see right there. So um, as far as this section goes, it wasn't too bad of a damage, you know, we're still, we're still good here, but uh, it did strip the uh, the plastic out of here, broke the plastic out, and I had to put a, a washer because there's still a piece in there to hang it on. But as you can see uh, right here, I'm a zip tie technician, so I uh, kind of got everything in place uh, just for looks, you know. So I'm going to show you a few uh, few uh, things that you can actually do here in this case uh, to be the most uh, cost effective. Now, as you can see, I have the blue and white scheme, and uh, this is very important when you're ordering your parts and stuff like that so um, this blue is called the Suzuki uh, metallic deep blue number two so if those of you are trying to look for the color that's that's the color for that one the white is actually um, or the splash or the YBA is is a is a pearl white and I forget that right now but when I move to the table I'll, I'll show you now each of these stickers is important because you cannot buy these these stickers anywhere you have to order these from Suzuki and the important part is when you get it from Suzuki this is all one one whole sticker this is not a sticker on top of another sticker okay this is all printed out and it actually has a metallic in it this white has a metallic in it and it's not white it's a pearl white so it, it does play an important part um, this is another key aspect the uh, the lettering uh, the Suzuki logo so I'm gonna move back to the table and uh, show you a few things uh, that I encountered when I was trying to replace this. All right, back at the table. And what I have here is an estimate from the Suzuki dealership. Um, just to give you an idea of what the parts that I need, what they cost. Uh, this is pretty much almost a whole body kit. And this is what it costs from Suzuki, okay? And here are all the numbers. I mean, for those of you who are looking for them, um, as you can see, uh, pretty much everything that I need here uh, to replace the parts that, that broke off. Uh, you can see the prices. Now, you see that one that says $873.99. That's actually the side fairing with the sticker kit, or they call it the tape set, on it already, pre-ordered. Okay, so um, when you purchase this from Suzuki, um, you are going to get your fairing pretty much just like this a blank but already painted now this is not the one from Suzuki this is an aftermarket one okay so you're gonna get a blank just like this now they're gonna give you the tape set and it's gonna come in a package just like this and um, this is the the blue with uh, and the little small little swooshes and uh, this is not the Suzuki lo logo uh, lettering so if you want to purchase this from Suzuki I'm gonna zoom in on this so you can see here's the here's the part number for the uh, tape set for the YBA or for the LR5 and for those of you who don't know what the LR5 is what, uh, what it is it took some research for me but this is pretty much breaks it down LR5 is the Suzuki Deep Blue number two, which is called your YBA, okay, um, that's your paint scheme, okay. So and the Splash White, which is, you know, this part of your kit. So the YBA and the YBD make up LR5, and so when you're ordering your, you know, your replacement parts, you, that's that's pretty important because that's what they go by, okay. So just to purchase that tape set okay by itself this is the cost well, here's the number let me see if I can zoom in here and get a uh, maybe not oh there we go all right so that the cost for just that blue with the GSXR two hundred and twenty nine dollars just for that just for that sticker per side 
Okay, so you got your blue here, you got your GSXR. That in itself is $229 for that sticker, okay, that goes on there. Also, you are going to need the Suzuki lettering logo. That sticker, which is not on that invoice, is $70 directly from Suzuki. I'm, I'm thinking you guys are out your damn mind. That's for a sticker? Come on. I, for me, if it was me, and it is, I'm going to do this as well. I'm going to go to my local graphic shop and have them print me out a sticker. Or you can go to, I think I'm going to post up a link to a website where it's something uh, effects, uh, I forget, effects.com. And uh, they can, you know, it's an online uh, kind of like a print shop, graphic shop where they can make you custom stickers. And uh, that's where I'll get my letter logoing. And it'll probably cost me, what, 10 bucks for Suzuki sticker that goes across there. It beats $70, okay? This sticker, you are not going to be able to find. And the difference between going to a graphic shop and going and getting the original sticker, well, like I told you before uh, earlier, that GSXR logo is actually printed into the sticker so it's not a sticker on top of a sticker it is all one so there you go so you are going to need if you want to put it back to original you are going to need that stick you know that sticker and you're going to have to buy that now i didn't pay the 220 dollars. i actually found it online and my um, this shop right here uh this is a suzuki dealership and they're uh in whittier Cal or lambert they're off of lambert in the city of brea california they have um, what they call a, a price match, online price match. And so I went online and I actually found it for uh, a cheaper price. I found it for $170. Um, I found this sticker for $170. And um, they did the price match for me. And uh, so, I, so I got it directly from Suzuki. I didn't actually have to go to um, the online site, but they helped me get it at a discounted price. So if your local Suzuki dealership does has price match, that would be a great point. If not, you can get it online for about a hundred. It's hundred and seventy dollars with shipping and everything. Uh, it comes out to one ninety um, instead of the paying, you know, the two hundred and twenty nine dollars directly from the dealer. So I will post that in the link as well. So that covers a couple of things right there. Um, the other thing I want to tell you was that. Um, Going back to this, these are all your part numbers that you are going to need, um, you know, uh, and you hear the cost from the dealership. So you can see that's that's pretty damn expensive. Now the one that says eight hundred and seven eight hundred seventy three dollars that is going to be your your right and left side fairing with the actual kit uh, with the actual tape set. On it okay it doesn't come that way you actually have to put them on yourself but uh, that's the price for the OEM side fairing and and the uh, tape set which is the GSXR logo with the blue behind it and the Suzuki uh, lettering on it okay so other things are uh, you can see uh, their individual costs the where it says emblem are $37 um, the lower cowling, uh, which is the V section behind the front tire, $47, okay? The box set is going to be your rear seat, which is $229. Now, coming from the dealership, all these come pre-painted, okay? So you don't have to paint, you know, nothing but purchase it, okay? So it's already painted with the Suzuki uh, Metallic Deep Blue Number 2. Um, and that's it, the front cowling. Sorry, the uh, one that's uh, $439.99, that is going to be the uh, top portion uh, where the headlight sits. And that's comes in, That's as you can see right there, it's going to tell you over here YBA because that is the Suzuki Deep Blue color. So YBA is blue, YBD is splash white. Okay, so just to get that clear, that's what you're going to need, okay? So... Here are the prices, here are the part numbers. Um, I'm gonna save you a whole lot of trouble because it took me a while to find this. I actually had to go to the dealership in order to get it. And that is the total, okay, to replace a stock kit. Now, um, one thing about the Suzuki colors, okay, so um, as you can see, I have the blue and white scheme. This comes directly from Suzuki. They printed this out for me. 
and this tells you your whole your whole this is not actually the color code okay this tells you the paint scheme so don't get this confused and I'm gonna pan down so you can see them all okay and if you need something on here just go ahead and push pause and write them down okay these are all the color schemes for the Suzuki's Suzuki bikes okay so we'll pan back over here so you can see this one all right All right, so one thing I didn't take notice to was that, okay, so I said, well, I'm not going to pay those expensive prices. I'm going to go down to my local paint shop or try to find the paint online and, and paint it myself. You know, some people put the stuff in cans and uh, paint, some paint shops put it in cans for you. And I figured, hey, why not go to my local paint shop and, uh, and uh, have them mix me up a couple of uh, colors in, in a can and I can spray it on myself. Well, if you scroll down right here, it says, no. Paint for inquiries, please call Color Right at, and it gives you the number. Well, Color Right is the only place that sells the Suzuki colors, okay? And they are a mixture of colors uh, that you're probably not going to find anywhere. I searched a long time or for a while, for about a month and a half, and I couldn't find the Suzuki colors. Um, like I said, I went over here and I bought, went to my local store and I bought me a nice uh, diamond white thinking that it was going to be the same. Now, this diamond white color, it, it is white. It does look white. Some parts of it, you can see it does have like a, a yellowish hue, and you can tell the difference if you're painting one side of the kit. Okay, so one side will be a yellower color, and the other side will be white. Suzuki white is a bright white, okay? A diamond white, even though it is white, it doesn't match up. And plus, it's not, the, the Suzuki color is not actually white. It's, a, it's an actual pearl white with a metallic flake in it. You know, I can't really get in and show you on here. This is without the clear. I, you know, I shot this with diamond white, and um, this is a kit that I had purchased online. Now, this kit cost me 300 bucks, and I got every single piece that you know for the whole entire bike, um, all the plastic fairings. Um, problem is painting it. <laughs> so I thought I was going to be able to go the cheap route and you know get a can of white paint and spray paint it, and then shoot some clear over it, and we're good. Okay, so and and slap a sticker and slap another sticker and and I could probably do it for under 200 bucks. Well, I, I was wrong. Okay, bought the kit. It's a blank. I painted it white. It didn't match the other side. I did diamond white. I did uh, a nice bright white. I did uh, a pearl white. None of them matched the Suzuki color. Now I get it. You can only you can only look at one side at a time. And um, to me, I'm very anal, so I, you know I know these I notice these things, but uh, I wanted both sides to match. Um, I was only going to put this one side on and leave the other side alone and, and just call it a day. Well, that didn't work out for me. So I started looking online and uh, after seeing this little notation here, I went to Colorite and I bought myself the Colorite set. Okay, so um, here are the numbers if you're looking for your paint scheme for the blue and white. This is the base color. Now, they say that you need the base color you need, once you sand down all your all your pieces you need to spray the base color in order to match the paint if you don't have the base color the paint scheme is not going to match this to the other side so or whatever you're trying to paint so that's the base coat 310 is uh, 1310 is the base color okay this is for the YBD which is white basically I don't, don't know why they just didn't say white but or pearl white but here's the number from color right um, for the white color okay and none of these as you can see the caps they're not blue at all it's like they just came black they don't match they don't tell you like the traditional cans you get from the auto store so I purchased two two colors of that one coat of the base and I also got the clear coat while I was there and some primer um, I'm sure I could have picked it up over there but uh, you know you, this place sells specifically the Suzuki colors this Suzuki doesn't sell the color you're not going to find the color anywhere else um, if you're trying to do you know uh, go back to the OEM look um, you're going to have to go to colorright.com and purchase and purchase these so what what did I pay at colorright so here we go this is what you get at colorright okay um, and here are the pricings all right so for 
the I ordered the aerosol package as you can see right there um, the aerosol package I didn't want to go down and search down all these things that I needed and I, you know um, I have quite a few of these things here but right there where it says the uh, complete repair package but well, that's simply you get some tape you get some rubbing compound polish after you have sprayed your clear and you want to you know buff out the clear coat this is it right here that came in there you get your scuff pad your scouring pad or your tack cloth in the kit you get some cleaning wipes I got three packages and you get some sandpaper for some color sanding some, some wet dry okay so that comes all that comes in the color right um, aerosol complete repair package okay so that if you want to purchase that I didn't want to have to go out and grab all this crap you know um, I've already did enough research as it was so um, to paint this now going back to here I went with purchasing the whole the whole kit you know the aftermarket kit thinking it was going to be better and or cheaper and it wasn't you know I should have just went online and if I was going to do an aftermarket kit got the whole sticker kit that it came with it and I would have called it a day and been done I just didn't like what the sticker kits had to offer, you know, as far as, you know, one being Jordan or the Lucky Strike or, you know, just I wanted it to be the OEM and this is the route I went. But the aftermarket kit, as far as quality wise, this is a thin plastic. It's not as thick as the uh, OEM one. Um, you know, it's, it, it's a nice, it's a good plastic, but it feels like if it took a hit, like the, like the bumper that I hit, well, this whole thing would probably have shattered. So, um, you know, different options. I wanted to sit here and explore with you different options and um, what's cheaper, what's not, you know. Lucky for me, I have full coverage insurance. And um, even though I rent th went this route, you know, this was my first route. I didn't stop and think, well, you got full coverage. I have a $500 deductible. Well, all the damage that I had exceeded $5,000. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, exceeded uh, the $500 deductible, and I was like, is it worth it? So I went, called my local insurance company, full coverage, and they came out, and all, I have all state coverage, and they came out and they did an estimate, and the estimate was for uh, $2,400. Pretty damn close to what um, what was listed, listed here. You know, they went by all the, you know, they brought their little laptop computer, they pulled up all the parts, all the parts, and everything was almost spot on as far as um, this is concerned, you know, they're all their numbering. So uh, minus my $500 deductible, uh, they cut me a check for 1,900 bucks. And, you know, I already bought the kit already. I'm probably gonna send this to the shop and have the whole kit painted a custom color, you know, um, and just do, you know, eat it on this part. I mean, this, you know, that's a hundred and, that's 190 bucks right there. That's another, altogether, this thing cost me 177 you know um to purchase what you see right here so i'm already like almost 300 dollars into just this part right here now 300 plus another 300 that's 600 dollars. okay so for 600 dollars, a couple hundred dollars more i could have you know bought something <laughs> or less i could have bought something on ebay and called it a day um but this is what i wanted to show you if you're trying to uh, go ahead and fix uh, one of your fairings, uh, one of your kits, you know, the colors are special. Um, you, it, whether or not it's up to you to get it professionally done or you can paint it, you know, and paint it yourself. And I, I'm not, I'm not scared to do all this work. It's, it's pretty simple. So just an FYI for you guys thinking about getting your kit, uh, your kit done or your bike repainted, or maybe you're trying to repair something that broke. This is just an eye opener for you. Hope you enjoyed. See you next problem.